Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Advice to Think Twice. My name is Monica and I'm here with your April 2017 Love Scopes. Um, I just wanted to say a quick hello before we get into the readings. Let you know that I will be using the Romantic Tarot deck. Um, some really beautiful cards. These are the cards and this is the back of the cards that I really, really enjoy. And also, please keep in mind that these are general readings, so they will make sense to some and not make sense to others. And that's a normal thing. It's perfectly understandable with general readings. Um, but what you can do, if it doesn't make sense to you, uh, you can check your moon and rising sign readings. Uh, if you check your sun, your moon, and your rising, you get more information that may apply to you. And you can kind of get a bigger perspective as to what's coming up for you in the month. And of course, if you're interested in a private reading specific to just you, all the links you need are in the description box below. And we're actually running uh, a few different uh, special offer readings at this time. So uh, it would be a good idea to look into a reading. Uh, you've got a lot of different options. All the links you need are in the description box below to my website, the special page and everything like that. If you have any questions um, about that, let me know. But um, other than that, have a great month. I hope you enjoy your readings. Remember to uh, like, share, subscribe, and comment. I'm very, very excited to um, hear from people and to connect with everyone, hear what, we ha what you have to say, what you think of the readings, what's going on for you, okay? So um, I'm really excited about that. Uh, thank you for joining me. Thank you for all your support. Have a great month, and I'll talk to you again very soon. Take care. Hi Sagittarius and thank you for joining me. Welcome to your reading. Let's see what April is about for you. So at the bottom of the deck is your overall energy. We have the Nine of Wands. Um, and the Nine of Wands keeps showing up, okay? Uh, and it's been at the bottom of the deck before. I've seen it before at the bottom of the deck. So uh, just make sure to watch your Moon and Rising sign because uh, when messages repeat themselves, that's my clue uh, for definitely make sure to watch your Moon and Rising sign readings because they're going to add up uh, or work well together. Um, but with the Nine of, Pe of Pentacles, okay, cool. So with the Nine of Pentacles, for some of you, this is about you being guarded because your focus is elsewhere. You're not particularly interested in love, okay? Um, you enjoy the attention. You enjoy compliments and gifts and, and affection and all of that. You're not particularly interested in investing in, in a relationship, okay, or taking something uh, further than that. That's for some of you. For those of you with the Nine of Wands here, the Nine of Wands does represent uh, an energy where you're, you're, you are or you're dealing with someone who is guarded, very defensive, uh, has a really hard time opening up, uh, someone who could be a little bit secretive, you never know what they're thinking, what they're doing, what they're going to do, and so on and so forth. Um, you could feel challenged within an existing relationship. You, feel, you could feel like you need to defend a relationship. Uh, with the Nine of Wands there, you feel like you need to protect your relationship from outside interference, stand up for it for whatever reason. Um, you could be dealing with another fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, um, Sun, Moon, or Rising. Um, but whoever this is for you, there's definitely a lot of passion there, okay? Um, if you feel like you need to defend that relationship. And for those of you, if this is a challenging relationship, then the passion has turned into challenges and frustration and that's why it's very draining and it's very exhausting currently um, or this is someone you're dealing with okay and you're trying to get through to tr uh, you're trying to get through to them uh, but they they've just put up a wall and you can't get through in your current situation we do have the moon so the moon is a major arcana card and you have a few, you have like three major arcanas in your in your reading. So this could be a, a good month for change or a good month to further your goals uh, with the moon because you may have um, astrological support, I guess you could say, or universal support um, with, with these energies. Um, the moon here in your current situation, when we see the moon in a love relationship reading, um, it can talk about a third party situation, okay? I can't lie. It can talk about affairs. It can talk about temptation. Uh, it can talk about uh, a, a love triangle. It can also indicate a time to fall in love, a time where uh, it's about the romance, uh, very romantic, okay, um, time frame with the moon there. 
So it can just be that. For those of you, this can represent living the dream with the moon, okay, where you're doing whatever you want, whenever you want to. Maybe you're the one putting up a wall uh, because you're not interested in certain things or th certain people, but you are living your dream in terms of what you do want in, in your love life. Um, it could also be the time when you take extra care of your relationship or extra pay extra attention to your partner. And it could also be a time when you f either you feel like your partner is watching you a lot closely or you are paying attention to what your partner is doing because maybe there are some suspicions there, okay? Maybe they've closed off all, all of a sudden, difficult to get a straight answer out of them. So with the moon card, you could be paying special attention to try and get more answers. Could be that. But uh, it could also be a time when you go away and it's a romantic time together, like a getaway with the moon, okay? It doesn't have to be all bad. What is crossing the moon is the queen, the queen of wands, okay? <laughs> well, that's your energy anyway. This is the king of wands. Um, and yeah, the queen of wands shows up here because, you know, she is someone who uh, controls her passion, okay? Um, but the king of wands crossing the moon, it is your energy for a lot of you. And for those of you, this is the person you're dealing with. Um, if this is your energy, then the King of Wands is all about enjoying life, uh, having fun, uh, enjoying your relationship again, um, bringing the spark back, the passion back within the relationship. Um, for those of you, this could be a work situation where you're involved with someone at work and that's why you have to keep it a secret with the Moon card. Uh, or you're interested in the boss and that's why either you have to keep quiet about it or if, if you are seeing each other, then you have to keep quiet um, until you decide what to do about it. If you want to let human resources know, or if this is just something you want to keep to yourselves, whatever the case may be. For others of you, this is someone you're dealing with, uh, another fire sign potentially, or a Cancerian with the moon here. Um, so fire signs are Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Um, and for some of you with the moon and the king of wands, for some of you, these two cards talk about someone who feels almost feels like they're playing a role uh or you can't read their 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 reactions they've got a really good poker face on um and for those of you this could represent dating it could be dating a married man okay the, the king of wands does show up as the married man uh in certain readings or um according to certain authors um and maybe that's why you have to keep it a secret and for those of you, this could just be about eloping and you got married and it's a secret. Could just be that. In the foundation, we do have the chariot. So with the chariot here in the foundation, it's again cancer, cancer energy. Uh, so for some of you, there's a cancer around you uh, or involved with you. Um, but with the chariot in the foundation for why things are the way they are, it could be someone who's been dealing with two people at the same time uh, and keeping it very quiet. For a long time uh, it could be uh, someone who likes to control things who likes things just so and so with the nine of wands they can get very testy and defensive if things don't go the way they want them to um, for those of you this could be someone who's very driven driven and very focused on success very focused on image very focused on status uh, and so that's why they're kind of guarded, very guarded, very defensive, keeping people at a distance because they're just not interested right now, okay? Um, and the chariot can also represent moving, moving forward, uh, a desire to move forward with a relationship, a desire for a commitment within a relationship. Um, that could be something on the mind. And again, it could be a boss, a manager, someone in charge uh, that you're seeing and you have to keep it a secret. In the past, we have the Eight of Cups. So with the Eight of Cups in the past, this could be someone who enjoyed being single. This could be someone who um, is still acting as though they're single, where, you know, they're the serial uh, dater kind of energy with the moon and the King of Wands here. Um, and so that could be the person you're dealing with, or that could be your energy where you enjoy socializing and you enjoy getting to know people, but you're not really um, 
willing or ready or interested in taking anything any further. Um, and for those of you, the Eight of Cups can deal with, again, water sign energy, so Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. You uh, could have been dealing with this Cancer person. Maybe this person was being very pushy with the Chariot. Maybe they were being very, very persistent. Um, and so you had to keep them at, uh, at a distance. Maybe they were being unrealistic with the Moon card here or very emotional. And so you've had to put up a wall when it comes to this water sign individual. Uh, for those of you, the Eight of Cups talks about dealing with someone who is emotional, emotionally detached or emotionally unavailable. And so everything is, is secrecy around them because you can't read them properly. Uh, and maybe that's the person you're dealing with or, or you know, that's the person you're with or that's the person you're interested in. Uh, in your crowning thoughts, we have the Five of Wands. So with the Five of Wands in your crowning thoughts, this could be uh, where this is inner conflict, where you're conflicted about something uh, or someone. Um, it could be a card talking about competition or having multiple options. So for those of you who are single and enjoying the single life, this is awesome. It's ju it just says that you're dating a lot of different people. You're getting to know a lot of different people. Uh, you're socializing, maybe not even looking to date, um, but enjoying getting to know people, enjoying the attention, um, that sort of thing. Um, and that's just what's on your mind and you enjoy doing this. For those of you, this is about looking at your options or people, a lot of different people competing for your attention. Um, and so that sees you kind of laying back and just watching it all happen. Maybe this is, this is a dream come true for you or maybe you're fantasizing about everyone who's trying to get your attention in terms of who would you pick, what that would be like, uh, and so on and so forth. But it's definitely a card that talks about uh, people competing for your attention or you need, feeling like you need to compete uh, for someone else's attention. And this could also be with the moon here. It could also be uh, thinking that the person you're interested in is seeing someone else uh, and that's why they're guarded and defensive. And it could also be, again, a work situation where you're involved with someone at work, where you have a crush on someone. It could be a boss, it could be a co-worker, um, but you, you have to keep it quiet for that reason. In the outcome position, we do have the world. The world card is a major arcana card, and it talks about the end of a cycle so that a new one can begin. This is a happy ending, okay? This is happy completions, successful completions with the world um, that give you several opportunities uh, for you to choose from in terms of where you want to go next, what you want your next thing to be, where you want your next beginning to be. Uh, the world card can represent a change in status. So for some of you, this could be where you're casually dating someone with the moon card, it's very, very quiet, and you have to keep it a secret for whatever reason. And then with the world card, by the end of the month, you could be making it official. You could be letting people know, introducing this uh, in each other to your friends and family. And so that's a change in status. You're going from being single, according to what everyone else knew, to being in a couple. For those of you, the world card can talk about taking things to next level. So if you've been dating, the world card can talk about moving in together. With the moon card here, maybe you've been living together anyway for a while, but it wasn't official. And so now you're making it official. Uh, for others of you, the world card can talk about um, moving someplace else together. Um, moving across the country or anything like that with the world card. For those of you, this is about starting a family. And then the moon becomes uh, an energy that talks about cycles, patience, waiting for something to come full term. And so for some of you, that's what's going on. Find out that you're pregnant or um, giving birth. You're giving birth this month, okay, um, with this energy. For those of you the world, for those of you who are single, I feel like with the world card here, you could have whatever you want, but for some of you, you're going to choose to stay single because you're, you're just enjoying yourselves, you're enjoying the single life, you're enjoying uh, getting to know people, traveling, being free, having the freedom to do whatever you want whenever you want to, not being tied down. Uh, so for some of you, you're enjoying the spotlight, uh, the attention, the affection, and it's just going to carry on, okay? It's not going to change anytime soon uh, if you can help it.
But for others of you, there will be one person standing out out of all the people competing for your attention. Okay, so for those of you who are single and dating, uh, or single and or you know dating casually dating or whatever, then the the world card sees one person standing out, and so you could start a relationship with that person because it is the end of you being single, and so now you're dating or at least you're interested uh, in someone. But uh, yeah, that is your reading for the month. I hope that it makes sense. If uh, the cards make sense to you, if they apply to you, let me know um, what this is for you and how things are going for you. Remember to watch your moon and rising sign readings. Have a great month, and I'll talk to you again very soon. Take care.